Oh, and going for Link. All right. We're seeing Odie. Um, hopefully, Odie is one of those players who has those nerves of steel because if that is the case, then it is possibly going to be a pretty interesting set here because those players who don't really feel fear in the face of utter like of utter danger are those that can really start to do better against anality very true here um od getting like pretty good leads here from some stray projectiles so far but evening it right out with that power dunk so scary yeah that combo does 28 percent when fresh so if you're like 30 percent ahead it can be evened up easily with just a jab Ooh, but that was really smart there, grabbing to stuff it out. And, all right. Okay, good throw. Um, Just trying to hit check him there, get some little pummels here and there, get that percent in. And go meter is on deck. Yep. And this is going to be very threatening right here. Just a single down tilt will take that stock very quickly. So, oh, and Buster Wolf armors through. That move is one of those that, as long as it is, the move it being used is 8% or less per hit, it will armor through. And this is a perfect example here. Wow, 63% already. Oh my god. And Anality just like changing, flipping the switch here. And honestly, now that go meter's on, Anality's throwing out all of these go moves. And yeah. almost lapping in percent already. Only only like 20 seconds into the stock. Okay, what's the and option the, here? Oh, okay. Oh, that Good was really smart. Odie. That was really smart because it was looking like Analdi was trying to go for a neutral getup into a wake-up option. And so Odie instead just went for something that would cover for a very long time that neutral getup option. Oh no. <laughs> Very hard to DI that upbeat. Good stuff from Anality. The awareness right there. Yeah. Okay, the boomerang setups. We're this wall is working. Ooh. But not well enough because I guess Odie got a little bit impatient there because they went in and got punished for it. And this is the this is the playstyle that you were talking about earlier, where uh, Inali just went for a raw board smash and disadvantage. Super yeah. good option right there. Edge guard scenario. Odie's going for everything right now, and that might take it. And there it is, Inali taking that two stock lead. Winners quarters here. That is that's one hefty game right there. Yeah, that shows exactly how good of a player Inali is because. He was starting out pretty far behind, but then immediately turned it on and completely made it one-sided. Flipped the switch and honestly was like, it's go time. Yep. Alright, um, OT, that profile picture, does OT actually play Duck Hunt here? That'd be interesting to see. That would be. Uh, nope. Same stage. Run it right back, huh? Pretty yep. confident here. Alright, uh, game two here. Anality versus OT on the link. Run it right back. But to Kalos this time around. Mm. How did they manage to do that before Anality even... Never mind. No uh, clue. No clue. That's that top player uh, stage selection. Yeah. And we're seeing here that it's already a very different start from that previous game. This time, Anality is starting off with a lead. This is actually one of those things that you'll see with him where he might start out in the first game a little bit behind, but then once he starts to turn it on, he really gets into your head and gets that good lead in the second game at the very start as well. What I feel like uh, Anality's playstyle here is gets that first game to figure out all the habits, plays a little bit defensive, uh, yes. gets in your head beforehand. And yeah. now this uh, second game, like like you're saying, we're seeing Anali just sort of go in right now. Look at that perfectly spaced jab combo. Yeah, exactly. And oh, oh. doesn't doesn't get it. Oh, oh team dropping the turnaround. Or even up smash punish. Maybe even up smash punish. That's crazy. Oh, and that's gonna that's take gonna that take it. Yeah, with that rising tackle. 
and only 52% on the board. Odie needs to get something going here if he plans to even get... Oh, and that was so smart ah, there of yeah. Anality. Seeing that Odie was trying to get a roll read, so waiting it out and just going for a safer option. And makes it back, surprisingly. Has the bomb in hand, high recovery. Oh, that okay. Was a, that was a really good adaptation there as well from uh, the ledge. Seeing that... <gasps> oh, no. Power guys are probably going to kill right here. Oh, or, a, no. or a dunk! A dunk's definitely going to take that. 150% here. Anality with rage is so scary. Okay, what's the option coverage here from Anality? Anything can happen right now. And up tilt will come out from OT. Dropping that uh, big rage that they had, dropping the go meter, this makes it a lot easier. As we're seeing right now with that 35%. But Anality having that bomb did make it a lot easier to come back to stage there from ledge. And it does look like Odie seems to be picking up on some of Anality's habits. Mm -hmm. Anality rushing a little bit too much, getting caught by those uppies. Yeah. And oh, oh very good nice guy. Wow. Yeah. You have to really mash in and, uh, in and uh, up. Because once that happens, as you see, he sort of pops out. Good high up B from OT. Yeah, and keeping that bomb there as well to make it so that the hitboxes will last a little bit longer. In this offstage scenario, it's so important here for OT to find a kill. <gasps> oh. Gets clipped by it. And gets hit by the bomb that Anality threw upwards. So smart from Anality. This might be it. This could be it. And that's probably going to take it with the Buster Wolf. And that's it. 2-0 from Anality, the number one player from Ecuador. Coast to coast, going to take it clean. Yo, honest, is Anality seated first? Because, like, this.